With every test that is being performed at Edwards Air Force Base, there is data being collected. It doesn't matter the type of mission or aircraft, these are the numbers that don't lie. It is the job of the 812 Test Support Squadron Statistical Methods flight to crunch those numbers and provide feedback to the engineers and testers to ensure that the warfighter has the best tools in the fastest and safest manner. A warfighter would love to get a perfect product every time, um, but they also need to get a product when it's timely. And without our statisticians helping us understand the risk associated with collecting um, some degree less than all data, um, we're able to provide that product to the warfighter sooner. My name is Wendy Peterson. I'm the director for the 812 Test Support Squadron. And we are a family of five very diverse flights. One of the five flights within our squadron is called the Statistical Methods Flight. And for every combined test force at Edwards Air Force Base, our statisticians provide the test teams with a better understanding of uh, the uncertainty involved with the data that they collect. Science, technology, engineering, and math, we are doing a lot of, the core thing is applied engineering. You know, we are integrating systems onto aircraft or we are testing brand new aircraft and determining sort of the what is the edge of their performance? How well do they work? How fast do they fly? How far can they go? How accurate are their sensors? Uh, there isn't a day where you're not thinking in a mathematical or scientific sense. You know, it's not doing initial research on trying to determine, you know, what is the strength of gravity on Earth, but there is the science of a particular very high-tech sensor operates in a very specific manner, and we want to know, so just how good is it? So our tests are set up to try to determine, you know, what is the line of it can do this, but it can't do that. Having the scientific mindset is an absolute plus. That's everything that we do is a report. That's sort of our main final product is knowledge. You know, this is what we know about the system as we tested it. It is science career eye. It is, that is what the job is. And you're constantly learning about new things that are, that are sort of on the frontier of military technology which is kind of a fascinating and interesting uh, thing to constantly learning about. I will say that the, the workforce is it's a great place to work because everything is done as part of the team. Very rarely are you doing something on your own in your own cube. You're constantly in some sort of interaction, working with someone else to sort of handle a problem or work past an issue. There's a, a strong sense of team. People think statistics, they just think numbers, they think nerds, they think spreadsheets. In one sense, yes, that is true. But statistics is never in a vacuum. It's, it's all, it, it is the applied of applied mathematics. Whether it's business, technology, sociology, politics, often when you're measuring things, they aren't certain. And so probability and statistics becomes an aspect of the knowledge of whatever field you're in. What I would say to a high schooler, as far as like, if you're considering statistics, what is kind of cool about it is, it is a very applied math. Even though you may be into something else, engineering, sociology, math, statistics is kind of a brother that's gonna kind of connect it. It's something to consider, if, if math is your cup of tea, statistics is gonna be uh, uh, right up your alley. Uh, it's a privilege to serve and support the members of the 812 Test Support Squadron who support the airmen here at Edwards Air Force Base, or as we like to call it, Takatatu.